So this might actually be the last Winds of Change video before Halloween. So I would just like to take this moment to wish you all a happy Halloween. And of course... <laughs> wow, I'm so scary. Ooh. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy, Bo the Doggo, and welcome back to Winds of Change, episode 21. We have made it to the Colosseum, and we, I guess we have gotten ourselves ready to fight for Alaranthia's freedom, and I guess in the big picture also Alestia's freedom from the Triumvirate. Ooh. So yeah, and we also had our goodbyes with <sighs> Ulrich and Pro, but none of them shall die. Maybe Drake you shall die, but uh, not Ulrich or Pro. They shall live. So yeah, not much more to say. Let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, the, I guess we're going to the arena then. This exit in the Colosseum will cause a long series of cutscenes to play. Doing so will also conclude your visit to the region of Alorenthia. Knowing this, would you like to continue the act for final? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think so. Um, so I guess this would be uh, like... I'm um, like uh, it was uh, at the end of act 3, where we... The, what is it called? The, the rebel HQ was uh, attacked. So I guess this would be kind of similar to that. So we'll see if, uh, if we can fit all of the cutscenes in this episode or if we will do so you know, over two episodes. We will see. Let's go. Okay. I am ready. I enter the lobby with Ulrich and Pro behind me. Our comrades are there and they immediately turn us there. But this definitely is an odd situation. Vivian stands on one side of the room, and Drakeu stands on another. Ulrich follows me as I take slow steps towards Vivian, my ally in this battle. If I wanted to win, I'd have to ensure that him and Ulrich stayed alive. So it's finally going to happen. Yeah. I've been dreaming about this day for a long time. Do your best out there, Monarch. I've got your back. Oh, okay. I, I, will, I will try to do my best. <laughs> There is no try. Of course, I have heard rumors about that blade you're carrying. So, if you don't mind, I might choose to lean on you for support, too. If we all take care of each other, then we'll be unstoppable for sure. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I nod, since he's right. We need to make our way to the other side of the Colosseum. Both groups start on opposite ends and meet in the middle. That's where all the chaos ensues. It'll be pretty hectic. I'm counting on it. It's been ages since I've seen a real battle. Do your best to stay out of danger, Monarch. Okay. Leave this to us. There's no need for you to risk your life unless you need to. Okay. Our targets are Draku and Pro. We should do our best to avoid senseless casualties. Vivian's reign should begin with as little bloodshed as possible. I nod. I've watched Vivian and Ulrich shake hands. It's a bit of a walk, so let's get started. The battle will start in a few minutes, so we need to be there. Some leader I'd be if I showed up late to my home fight. He smiles, and we break our huddle. I follow him as we make our way to the gates. The weight on my shoulder is immersed and frightening. I notice Dragior wake his mate to my side. He looks me up and down, staring at my blade. Look, I don't know if what they told me was true, but if that blade is some sort of ancient relic, don't showboat. Anything other than strength and strategy will be seen as cheating. Oh, okay. That blade may have powers to help you out in Baltius, but not here. Do your best to blend in as a regular combatant, alright? I don't want you putting Vivian in jeopardy out there. So, I should just wave my sword around and be like, ah, but not hit anyone. <laughs> I shrug, since I don't really have a say in the matter. I suppose the power of the blade were pretty much cheating. A throne battle would do little to prove Vivian's credibility. Oh, okay. Uh, after a trek that seems like forever, we're at our gates. They're shut tight, and I can see another set across from this one. At the other end of the arena, our opponents were waiting, just like us. I look over at my allies and gulp. The crowd is roaring with excitement. Our lives were simply entertainment to them. Remember, we're fighting for a better future. Our hopes and dreams will carry us to victory, I know it. Of course. 
Ulrich's sword arm will sure be a big help. No need to put on the pressure, Vivian. <laughs> but I know you're right. This is all I've ever wanted. And with you two by my side, I know I'll never fail. Aww. He smiles, but that smile is quickly wiped from his face. The gates begin to open, giving us a clear view of the arena. Ooh, exciting! Oh no, it's gonna happen! Ah! Oh oh! We take a few steps outside the gates and look around. The crowd goes wild, and that's when hell breaks loose. The reserve forces rush to the center to create a line of defense. Stay back, Monarch! Let me and Vivian lead the charge! Oh, okay. Yeah, just make sure to stay out of danger. We can't have our future ruler falling in battle. Okay. <laughs> now! Oop. I stay back as instructed and let them lead the charge. After a few minutes, everybody meets in the center. All I hear is clashing metal and agonizing screams. How big is this Colosseum if it takes them minutes to run to the middle? <laughs> it's an absolute massacre. Just like... <sighs> I gasp and take a few steps back. Anxiety coursing through me. I feel like I'm right back at the Rebel HQ. Everybody's dying! I clutch my chest and start to panic in the arena, my breath short. What is going on? This has never happened before! I can't escape this, it feels like it's happening all over again. I shake my head, but nothing helps. I need it to stop! Hey, Monarch, are you okay? I'm unable to respond as an enemy soldier closes in on me. Drake's reserve forces, our own men, are coming to attack me. Or are they? I had no idea if they'd actually follow through. And thanks to a sudden interruption, I'd never have to find out. Monarch! Ulrich rushes to my side and pushes me to the ground. I hit the ground with a loud thud and I'm knocked back into coherence. However, this did little else but to redirect the attention to him. <gasps> ah, I'm back again. With almost a dozen men charging towards him, he stands his ground. Unsheathing his sword, he seizes up the oncoming attackers. One single swing later, they're all knocked to the ground. It seems that he's shown the mercy as he squirm on the ground, injured. I'm not sure what he was calculating, but that was impressive. It's almost like he knew exactly when to swing for maximum effect. It hurts me to see him harm our own, but there was no other choice. Forgive me, Monarch. It was either them or you. I had to make a decision. Give me your hand. We need to keep things moving. Okay. I nod and grab his hand. He helps me back up on my feet. I have no idea what just happened. Was that a vision? Or was it something else? No, there was no time to think about that. We had a battle to focus on. And it was a battle that we were winning. We pushed the opposing forces back towards the side. After a few minutes of battle, they're almost back into a corner. We had them right where we wanted. Or did we? No! It, it says now, but it sounded like it said no. <laughs> Just when we think we have the upper hand, Drake U plays his trump card. His forces spread out and quickly run around our flank, surrounding us. We weren't quick enough to react. We were all too close together. Stay close, Monarch! This must be what Draco was counting on. If we can break free, then victory is surely ours. They take slow, synchronized steps towards us. We all look for a weakness, but we can't find any. In a few minutes, they'll be close on us. The strategy, it seems desperate. That means he doesn't have anything else up his sleeve. Get us out of this, Monarch. Use that blade if you have to. They raise our blades and ready themselves to attack. They're still far away, but it's enough to intimidate us. I reach for my own weapon in response and unsheathe it. I take a few steps forward, matching their synchronization. They stare at me, confused, and some of them even scoff at me. This was my chance to shine. I had to save all of us from this trap. Gripping the blade tightly, I try to figure out how to activate it. As if sensing my instincts, the gear on the blade starts to spin fervently. I raise it up in the air and demand that the blade assist us in battle. Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> Immediately after that, a flash of white light overtakes the arena. Just like every other time the blade has been used, as if that is call. However, this flash of white light subsides almost as soon as it began. It seems to leave everybody in the area blinded. They stagger back, waving their hands over their eyes, unable to see. 
In their confusion, they step back, revealing a gap in their formation. And that gap is exactly where Drake now stands. With my comrades also blinded, it might just be up to me. I grip the blade and watch Drake panic in his sight road state. The crowd grows silent, almost in awe at what's going on. All their eyes are on me. They know I used the blade to do this. I gulp, unsure if I should attack or wait for the sight to return. I don't want them to think that I'm a coward who needs to disarm their foes. With so many people watching, I need to consider what image I'm giving off. I would be in the highest seat of power after this war. I need to think. What should I do? Attack him directly before he can retaliate? Wait for his bl the blindness to subside and fight back as a team? We're doing this as a team, I'm not gonna attack Drake you uh, right on. This though might... I, I know there's a backside to everything. I'm afraid that this will um, affect Pro in some way, that we or Ulrich, if we keep fighting that they will get hurt or something. But no, I am not a coward who will attack um, a blinded man. Not not like not like at least in this fight. We're playing by the Alarenthian rules, and yeah, this would probably be seen as be, as cheating. So we're not we're not doing that. We wait for the blindness to subside and fight back as a team. Yeah, go team! No, I couldn't rely on the blade this battle. It was cheating. Breaking through this attack was enough to put us back on equal grounds. And that's all we needed to win. We wouldn't get caught off guard again. I prepared to share my blade, but then everything changes. I felt a grip on my shoulder, preventing me from moving at all. Oh no, is it pro? And being like, I, I, my cards that I dealt with, oh no, fuck. Turning to face the source of the intrusion, I tremble in fright. It was Ulrich. Sorry, I can't have you getting in the way. I have to do this, Monarch. Please forgive me. What? The grip on my shoulder tightens into something more crushing. His aggression is clear, and for the first time, I'm frightened of him. He holds up his blade and repositions his hands to use the base as a weapon. And he smashes it against my fa- What? He smashed- What? And he smashes it against my face repeatedly. What? <laughs> Ulrich, what? I scream and fall on my knees. Blood pours from my nose. My vision gets hazy, and soon I fall to the ground completely. Looking at the gap of the enemy forces, I see Pro step through. He holds a dagger out at Ulrich, who holds out his blade in turn. Oh no... The light still blinds most of the other fighters, making this a one-on-one -on -one battle. No, 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 don't do this. If, if Pro dies, I'll restart the game. <laughs> I reach out to try to stop them, but it's to no use. They immediately charge at one another. Oh no... Pain radiates through my entire body, and I'm almost unable to focus. The weapons clash again and again, and I finally see Pro fight. He dodges with grace, almost like watching the moves of a dancer. Give it up, Pro. This is what I was meant to do. Changing Alarinthia means everything to me. I can't let you win, Ulrich! We need Draco's strength <laughs> to take down the Triumvirate! You can always come back and change things after the war! That's that's what I had was thinking about from the beginning as well. Fuck! Never! They continue to fight, ignoring each other's pleas. But they'd have to do something quick, because the soldiers were shaking things off. I keep trying to crawl towards them. Their battle was with Vivian and Drake you, not each other. Are you really willing to die for this? Think about what Draco can help us accomplish! If the choice is between fighting alongside Draco and death, <laughs> then yeah, I'm willing to die for this, pro. But I have to ask, are you willing to kill me in the name of my enemy? Yes, of course! <sighs> he looks nervous, like if Ulrich is calling out the bluff. He takes slow, intimidating steps towards Pro. In response, Pro starts to panic and step back. If you're willing to kill me, then do it! Show me that our friendship means nothing to you! <laughs> no. But we're family! It looks like Pro is about to cry. No, that's just an excuse you made up. What? Ulrich, st stop it! Why are you saying this? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> because I don't believe you're willing to kill me. 
but I stand here ready to kill you at a moment's notice. That need for friends and family to be loved, that's your weakness. <laughs> what did you do to this to bro? All I've ever wanted was to change this nation for the better. You, Tomek, the monarch, you're worth less than pawns to me. So I'll give you what? one chance to kill me. Take my life or lose yours. Ulrich, what is going on with you? Ulrich, stop! In response, Ulrich readies his blade and stepped closer to Pro. There's nothing I can do anymore. I'm practically choking on my own blood. Any weak cries I emit would be easily overtaken by the shatter of our audience. A shatter that soon turns into a roaring applause. Pro lunges towards the attack Ulrich, but he quickly counters. Gripping Pro's arm, he quickly seizes the dagger for himself. Okay, please. So that's the way it is, huh? Your fool, Pro. Always were. Throwing his own great sword on the ground, he stares in Pro's eyes. Pro trembles in fear, realizing that he played right into Ulrich's hand. He dodged Pro's erratic attack rather than launch his own. Ulrich! Let me go! As he holds Pro firmly in place, he closes his eyes. Sorry it had to come to this. <laughs> but know that your death will create a better nation. No! And hopefully, that will lead us all to a better world. No, Ulrich, no, please, no, Ulrich, no! He plunges the dagger into go. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, this can't be happening! No! <laughs> no! He plunges the dagger into Pro's gut multiple times. The look on their faces reminds me of Shane and Darmek. But something tells me that Pro wouldn't be as lucky. I can hear him cry and whimper as he falls to the ground. Looks like you were finally good for something. <laughs> no, this can't be happening! No! I... <laughs> That's the last thing that I can remember. <sighs> Succumbing to grief and agony, I slowly pass out. The crowd goes wild and the soldiers finally overcome their blindness. They're greeted to the sight of a victor, but I only see a man who lost. An empty victory, and one we will surely never fully recover from. Crying at our loss, my vision fades as I lie in a puddle of my own blood. <laughs> no, this can't be happening, no! <laughs> No! <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's not dead. He's not dead. Okay, okay. He, he's fine. He's fine. Okay. Let's continue. He's fine. He, he will come back. My eyes slowly open and I find myself back in the Colosseum's private chambers. Pain radiates throughout my head, pulsing with my heartbeat. It's almost unbearable. I notice some empty vials on the nightstand and an odd taste in my mouth. Painkillers. Valessa and Fortem sits on the chair beside the bed, watching me intently. He's waking up. I, I you better be you better be talking about Pro. <laughs> Fortem immediately rises from his chair and runs over to me. The worry on his face is clear, but everybody breathes a sigh of relief. That is, except for Ulrich. He stands in the corner of the room with his arms crossed. After what he just did, I'm not surprised that he acts distant. We were so worried, Monarch. We didn't know if you'd recover. Ulrich did some damage. Your nose is broken, but if you give it time, you'll be totally fine. Upon hearing this, Ulrich rolls his eyes. I can't believe it, but Pro was dead, Ulrich. No, <laughs> he can't. No, he can't. No, 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 no. He, no, he's, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's, he's fine. Our alliance with Vivian was secured. But was it worth it? Pro, Pro is fine. Pro is fine. He's not dead. We can use the blade to resurrect him. He's fine. That was not a question that I could possibly answer. On one hand, that sacrifice would ensure the safety of millions. But we were comrades. Bonds complicated things during a time of war. I let my legs dangle on the bed and I found their place on the warm store floor. I can sense the denial in the air. Nobody wanted to talk about what just happened. So, what's the next step? Domex entered the conversation. 
With our alliance finalized, we need to head back to Mizeo. After some swift preparation, we'll launch the assault on Balteus. This is it. We've come away from this with more soldiers than ever. Hal steps forward and enters the conversation as well. The Triumvirate would not expect us to recover this quickly, but here we stand, stronger than ever before. We can win this war. We would advise not mulling over this sacrifice. It secured his victory. He can't be dead, can he? He can't be doing this to me. He can't be dead, no! Why are no one talking about this? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, Pro may have not sided with Vivian, but he sided with us. We're still going to secure the future he was fighting for. Alestia's future. He was a dear friend, and this loss will give me more power, <laughs> more <laughs> resolve. I wanted to do the, the lost loyalty thing with Pro. <laughs> Why? A good outlook. Wasting time to mourn could cost us this entire war. We must make our way to the docks and meet with Vivian. Focus on the things that are within our control, Monarch. I don't care about the eleven pro back. <laughs> oh. I nod, a suggestion born from denial, no doubt. However, despite its origins, it was a good idea. We still have a business to take care of, no matter what. I stand up, getting out of bed, and everyone looks worried. They brace themselves to catch me, in case we were to fall over. I stumble slightly, but I'm fine. I think I was ready to get things moving. So, should we just start walking to the docks? Let's make sure to stock up on lots of water. The journey back isn't going to be any easier. He gets ready to leave, but Fortem interjects. Whoa, hold on a second here. Before we go, I have a question to ask. What happens to Pro's body? <laughs> he looks over at Ulrich, who exchanges an awkward glance. Ulrich, why did you do this? You could have waited and went after Draku! Everybody looks shocked, but I know it's something that we were all thinking. Without a single word, Ulrich shakes his head and walks out of the room. Hey! I asked you a question, you coward! It's no use, he's already long gone. Likely to the docks as I know that he wouldn't abandon us. As bad as his actions were, he still seemed to serve our cause. Fortim. I know we have an alliance or whatever, but who cares? We lost one of our friends. Why is nobody even sad? Thank you, Fortim. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time to grieve after this war is over. We've lost plenty, and I'm sure we'll be losing even more, but if we give up and mope around, We'll lose everything. But I just lost everything. <laughs> I'm not forgetting about him, Fortin. We just have more important things to focus on. Let's get to the docks. We can talk more on the trip home. That's part of the problem, Valesa. I don't even know what home is anymore. It was Valinorth and then Mazeo, but everything around us is getting destroyed. And I thought home was being with our friends. But now, they're dying, Valesa. Nobody knows how to respond to Fortin's words. An awkward silence fills the room, but he gets the idea. Fine. Forget I even said anything. But we were betrayed, plain and simple, by one of our own. It may have gotten us an alliance, but it's still a betrayal. And in my books, people like that deserve to be punished. So you can push this aside or whatever, but I won't. This is a crime that needs to be answered for. I kind of agree with Fortem. Fucking hell. After saying that, he storms out of the room. But I suppose that he was right. But it's really not that simple. There was no point in arguing, however. So we all start to leave. Well, I guess maybe venting like that could help. Let's just get it out of the way while we're walking, alright? Every moment we waste makes our enemy more prepared. Okay. Everybody seems to agree, and we all shuffle out of the room, and so begin a long and arduous journey back to the docks. However, instead of hope, this trek would be filled with a feeling of despair. <sighs> I, oh my god, I... 
Oh, I can't deal with this. I can't. Mm. Was it the choice? <sighs> Was it the choice that I did that I didn't attack Drake you that got pro killed? <sighs> Our entire party remains in silence until we arrive at the oasis. Having gone through all of our water, we needed to fill up immediately. We're all sweating, clearly exerted by our journey through the desert. Well, it's time for a brief break. Let's get some water and then head back to the docks. If I remember correctly, this means we're halfway there. We all nod and start filling up the canteens with water. But while I do, I pay attention to what's going on around me. Aldrich makes sure that he's standing beside Fortem while he fills up on water. Fortem notices and seems visibly angry. It's totally understandable, though. What do you want? I just wanted to apologize, Fortem. You'll understand soon. I had no other choice. There's no way you're sorry, Ulrich. I saw no hint of remorse on your face when you killed him. And even now that you're apologizing, you don't look sad at all. That's not true. I'm being serious here. Please tell me that he that he's not that you did some you did something. This was all fake. You did not really kill him. He just is... <sighs> Well, so am I. Just leave me alone, Ulrich. We'd all be better off without you. Ulrich takes a step back, hurt by Forte's words. If he wasn't sad before, then he definitely is now. Fine. He walks away from Fortem, considering the conversation over. As harsh as Fortem was, I think he's saying what was on a lot of our minds. Almost everybody has been treating him with disdain since the battle ended. After we're all done gathering water, Fortem approaches me. He looks so conflicted, and after all, he's the only one being vocal about the situation. Especially after his outbreak just now, he's starting to wonder if he's being too emotional. Come on, Monarch. You have my back in this, right? What happened was way out of line. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they made... Maybe they... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. I know that everybody is focusing on the war right now. But I can't do that. This is just too much to take in. What should I do? Are you going to forgive this? Ah. Uh, what happened? Oh. I'm so shocked. I don't even know what to think right now. Is probably the right answer here. Uh. Maybe I'm just processing this faster than anybody else. I know it's hard because of how close we all are. But a crime is a crime. Plain and simple. But they also knew what they were giving, getting themselves into. Friends shouldn't get a free pass to commit atrocities. I don't care if other people forgive him. I never could. He needs to be punished. Like any other criminal. But it it wasn't murder as... For them, you see, this wasn't really a crime. Because they already know that this would be a fight where someone would die. And they both signed up to it. Or signed up for it. Uh, knowing that one of them might die. But yeah, between friends, it's a really horrible thing to do. But it's, it's, it doesn't make uh, Ulrich a criminal. Because he, he did as... The law of Alarenthia allows him to, you know. But yeah, I don't know if I can forgive him for this if if he actually killed Pro. But I hope that he didn't, and that's why he bashed my face in so that I would faint and not notice that how they were triggering or something. Fuck. I shrug, unsure how to respond to that last part. He did kill the comrade, but he secured a powerful alliance. We have to wonder how such actions cancel each other out. One life gave us all the power we need to win this war. But at the same time, is it even right to reduce a life to something like that? A bargaining ship on some sort of table containing all of our lives. This is something we'd have to talk about as an entire group. I may be in charge, but this affected everybody, not just me. That's why I let Fortem know. It's the only right way to handle it. Alright. But just take my advice. Don't do it while everybody is still in shock. Let them process these events and form an opinion. Of course. I nod, and it seems like we're ready to continue. Since we're halfway to the docks, we'd have a long time to think. But something tells me that no time in the world would let us sort this out.
My head throbs as the painkillers started to wear off around the oasis. My coherence fades in and out, though my body still moves. I'm barely conscious. Before I know it, we're already back at the docks. However, I didn't miss anything of note. What surely took portions of the day seemed like mere moments to me. Our group scattered out, but not too far. We're all within earshot to each other. I notice our new ally is waiting by the ship. Dame quickly approaches him. Vivian, there you are. How does it feel to be the one in power? It's hard to believe, actually. <laughs> I expect that it'll set in after the upcoming battle. I'm a man of my word, so I need to help you out first. So you're just gonna, like, take over this land, and when you're done, you leave? Hmm. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me you're coming with us. Don't you have things to take care of over here? But my point. <laughs> It's nothing that can't wait a few days. The attack is happening pretty soon, right? I can leave things in the hands of a few friends for now. Mm-hmm. Fair enough, and yeah, you're right. We plan to launch the attack within a day or two. Once we get to Maseo, we need to take care of business. I mean, final goodbyes and stuff like that. After we leave for Balteus, we might never return. We need to make sure that we leave with no regrets. Have a little faith, Domic. If anybody can take down those gods, it's us. We just overthrew an entire nation. I think that's a good sign. At that moment, we're interrupted by the last person I ever thought I'd see. Gods? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You know just as well as I do that they're weak. Like us. The true power rests with the one who can wield that blade. What are you doing here? Not now! <laughs> we all stop what we were doing and look towards the source of the noise. Terribly sorry to intrude, but I need to have a word with the monarch. Mm -hmm. If you'd be so kind as to give us some privacy, I'd be forever grateful. What? It's Sovi! You know, for, for one second that I thought that probe would just pop up and be like, Hey guys, <laughs> sorry I'm late, lol lol lol. But then... It's Sovi. I immediately assume a battle stance. Fright quickly overtakes the air. This was bad. I'm not sure who remembers him from the Rebel HQ. And I'm not sure if any of my comrades have seen him before. But they heed my warning and assume stance is similar to mine. A hostile greeting. I don't blame you. You're only treating me the way I treated you. Mm -hmm. He takes a few steps toward, and I do so as well. I notice that he looks as Damek, a man that he thought was dead. A hint of emotion shows on his otherwise cold face as he does this. So after this hostility, I expect mercy. Remember, if it weren't for me, you'd be dead. What do you mean? He immediately gets on his knees and holds out his wrists. I submit to your authority. Restrain me any way you wish. I only want to talk. When you get back to Maseo, we can go our separate ways. Okay... I'm shocked by his actions. I expected another fight to ensure. I look around at my comrades, unsure what to do in this situation. It was clearly a trap, right? What businesses would he have with us? Vivian, restrain this man immediately. Take him to the brig and make sure he can't escape. He's unarmed and alone, so do it before he starts anything. Vivian does as instructed, as Ulrich takes matter into his own hands. It was probably for the best. He seemed to know Sovi better than any of us. Sovi had no allies present and no honor guard soldiers. Right now, he was weak. Once we set sail, Come and talk to me, Monarch. I have some information that you might want to hear, including the true identity of the Mole among your forces. What? He dragged away with what I interpret as a sinister smirk. Is it Ulrich? No, it can't be. <laughs> Though he did kill Pro, so hmm. It's likely that he couldn't be trusted. That's obvious psychological warfare. Turn us against one of our friends, and we'll destroy each other from the inside. Yeah, pretty much how we did with Shane. <laughs> An obvious attempt to sabotage our independent attack on Baltius. 
but if we'd restrained him and kept watching him, we'd have a valuable asset. The Triumvirate's own Grand Inquisitor. That would make a fine bargain chip. Sorry about that, but we need to get out of here and fast. If we stay in Alarenthia any longer, they might figure us out. And Sylvie definitely can't hear what I'm about to tell you. Oh? Figure us out? What does it mean? There's worry and paranoia on Ulrich's face. Come closer, everybody. I'm afraid that I've been keeping a secret from all of you. But it's not just me. Hold on a second. You'll see what I mean. Okay. We look around, clueless as what he was talking about. But following his instructions, we all inch our way towards him. He tilts his head to the side, looking behind one of the nearby trees. And what happened next leaves us all speechless, in utter shock. You can come out now. Please, please be pro, please be pro, please be pro, please be pro. And then, from behind a group of trees, steps out a man. They had a cloak covering their body, which I slowly dropped to the ground. Oh man, it's about time. There's nothing I hate more than hiding. Sorry for worrying all of you, but we had to do it. <laughs> He's a liar! Thank God! Oh my god, I don't have to start again! <laughs> oh, my baby! <laughs> He's back! Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> my heart! <sighs> Pro and Ulrich high five and then then give each other a tight embrace. Yeah, I'm not the best actor, you know. I think people were starting to see through our lies. Oh. Before Pro can do anything else, He's bombarded with hugs from all of our comrades. The man they thought were killed in cold blood now stands before them. I'm shocked, confused, but also a little relieved. What's going on here? Hey, come on! Cut it out! It's enough to know you missed me. Uh, but we really need to get going. Fast. Yeah, if they find out we cheated, we're done for. <sighs> I know you want an explanation, so let's talk about it on the ship. Okay. We should set sail right away so nobody catches on to us. They start to walk towards the ship, but Domek stopped them. Wait, you cheated? Mm -hmm. How are we going to break this news to our new partner? If they find out, they might just break off our alliance. It worked out in their benefit, so I doubt they'd care. Let's get going. We'll explain the story on our way home. I'm so confused. <laughs> he says with a big smile. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Domek. We made it out of this without any casualties, really. A few members of the reserve forces died, but that's it. Thankfully, none of the monarch vessels fell in combat. Oh. We have more strength than ever before. That's what matters. Attacking Balteus will be as easy as the snap of a finger. And now he sees Sylvie and be like, uh-oh. All right, then I trust you. But you better have a good explanation for this. Let's get going, everybody. We have a long voyage home. Domek, Ulrich, and Pro all get on the ship. I start to walk over to Howl and Valesa and Fortem. They seem happy, but just as confused as I am. Cheating is not something we agree with. Ah, shut up. Such tactics are what our current enemy employs. This journey seems to be changing all of your values. But he's still alive. That's great news. Oh. I was really freaking out. I didn't know what to do. <sighs> don't tell me you think it would be better if he was dead. I, I don't think that's what he's saying, but I... In, <laughs> Maybe. Means to an end, we suppose. The enemy likely thinks the same way. Oh well. With that, he walks away and gets on the ship. Valas and Fortem both run to me, happy. Let's go find out what they have to say. I'm also curious about that other man we restrained. <laughs> There's so much going on right now, I can barely think. Yeah. I want to figure everything out. I was worried we'd be attacking Balteus without all of our friends. But to know he's still alive? I can't even begin to describe the relief. We make our way to the deck of the ship, but Valessa's words stick with me. Everything was moving so fast, I almost didn't know what was going on. Thankfully, we had a long trip home to get everything figured out. And that was my goal.
we'd get back to Mazeo with no questions left unanswered. No matter how shocking the answers were, and whether or not I regretted learning them. We seemed to be running on everybody's agenda but my own. Everybody had their own plans. It was time for that to change. And therefore, Queens of Change. And we're ending it there, guys. That's all for this time. So no need to restart the game, at least. Ugh. I'm so relieved now. Jeez, I really thought Pro was dead. Uh, I was honestly contemplating of just going back, even back and siding with Vivian instead to see if Pro would survive. But okay, he's fine. He's fine. Everything's good. <sighs> so yeah, thank you to my patrons for supporting me. And uh, if you want to support me... If you want to support me, uh, you can leave a comment, you can subscribe, and you can join the Patreon, and you can join my Discord. Uh, yeah, but yeah, hopefully we can get one more video up before Halloween, but if we don't, happy Halloween everyone, and uh, yeah, I love you all. So take care, and remember that you are loved and appreciated, and you should be proud of who you are, because I want to see you in the next episode. Please, if you ever do something like that again, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs>